what's up guys, this is Matt from Hanley Gaming. Now the free PlayStation Plus games for August have been out for about two weeks now, and here's my review on them. First we have the Wipeout Omega Collection. Now it sells on the PlayStation Store for $29.99. It is about 30 gigs, just over 30 and a quarter gigs. And it was developed by XDev, Epos Game Studio, and Clever Beans. And it was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. So basically it's just a remaster of their 2008 and 2012 um, Wipeout HD, the expansion Wipeout HD Fury, and the uh, Wipeout 2048 from 2012. Now basically this game is just a futuristic zero gravity action racing game. It has multiple game modes as well and it has a campaign mode. Now I liked that it had offensive and defensive weapons. No, but they didn't really seem to do anything, it's just cool watching it happen. Um, now, unfortunately for me, but a plus for some other people, is it's VR compatible. Uh, now it has VR support for, for the gameplay. Um, I actually went and saw a video of somebody playing it, it looked pretty cool. I don't have VR, so I don't have that, that option, but if you have VR, this is great. Um, now you only start with a few vehicle choices, like two, and you unlock them as you progress through the campaign. Um, now they they vary in different uh, different stats, like speed, defense, offense, like things like that. Um, you know, just depending on your style of play. So you know, if you have a different style of play than somebody else, you might want a different vehicle than what they're using. Like for some, it has more firepower, like one I was using shot three rockets, another one I was using only shot one rocket. So it depends on your style. Again, I didn't really see any any positive effects from using the weapons, so I just focused more on what I could find that had more speed. Next up we have Sniper Elite 4. It is currently selling on the PlayStation Store for $80, and it was developed and published by Rebellion Developments on February 14th of 2017. Because what's more romantic than blowing a Nazi's balls off? Now this is a third person stealth slash tactical shooter game. Um, it's, uh, it's taking up just over 41 gigs on my system. Now this game is set in Italy during World War II and you play as a sniper commando. Now the gameplay feels very similar uh, to like Hitman 1 and 2 or Metal Gear Solid 5. It's sort of a feeling between the two. Um, I have not played any other titles in this franchise so I don't know how, you know, Sniper 3 or 2, I don't know how they felt. I'm just uh, going on games that I know and it's it's similar to Hitman 2 where, you know, you have a very large open level. It's not quite open world, it's a very large open level and it gives you various ways to complete your objectives. So, you know, basically do it the way you want, but if you get in a firefight, you're most likely going to die. So you're trying to be stealthy, sort of like in Hitman 2. Um, and, and also to Metal Gear. the the way it feels when you're moving around and you know jumping from place to place it sort of feels very similar to, to Metal Gear Solid 5. Now I find the uh, best part of the game is shooting with the sniper rifle, especially when you get the kills that you know go slow motion with the X-ray cam and it you know follows the bullet. So you know it just shows the carnage caused by the bullet. So if you shoot somebody in the forehead, it's going to slow down and follow the bullet, sort of like the Max Payne. And then it will, right before it gets to their head, their their whole head will go like x-ray. And then you see the bullet pass through their head and just cause destruction. And come out the other side of their head. You know, if they're wearing a helmet, sometimes it will knock the helmet off. Or if you shoot them in the back of the face, like at the back of the head, it will come out their mouth. And all their teeth will come flying out with it. Or, you know, you shoot them in the balls. And again, it just shows like an x-ray and it just shows the balls explode or... You, know, you shoot them in the chest, it shows the bullet go into the heart. It, it, it is so cool. That is the best part of this game. 
Now, one thing that made me laugh about this game is the stealth. Uh, you know, if you're hiding in a bush and your whole upper body is showing and the guns on your back are like another two feet above your head and, you know, you can clearly see you and, and they can't just, you know, because video games. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I found that very funny. Now, there are eight levels in the game and, again, they're semi-open world like the newer Hitman games. Not quite open world, it's just a very big open level. And as well as in Hitman, as I was saying, stealth is your friend. Because a few shots will take you down. So, you know, there is a challenge to this game that makes you approach it stealthily, but it doesn't make you want to send your controller sailing through your TV. I haven't experienced any frustrating moments like that. Now, there's also an online co-op mode, but I haven't tried that. I've tried it, but it couldn't really match make with anybody. I don't know if it was just that nobody was playing at the time. Or I have no idea. But I tried to. I know you can do it with, uh, with different players on various difficulties, the different levels, and work together to complete the levels that you've already completed solo in the game. All right, guys, there's the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to try these games? Have you already tried them? Let me know. I strongly suggest you try Sniper Elite 4, at least add it to your library. You know, Wipeout Omega Collection, you know, it's fun if you're into racing games. It's really fast paced. If you're not into that sort of thing, you know, don't worry, but Sniper Elite 4 is a must play. Must play game. Alright, until next time, guys. Later.